while pupils are working remotely from their own homes, it's really easy for you as a teacher to be able to set work, to be able to receive it back, to mark it, comment on it, send it back for work to be corrected or improved upon. And to be able to do this, we use these things called to-dos. Just wanted to remind you of them. I've got a whole list of to-dos which have been set here. I can see who they've gone to. To learn more about to-dos, the easiest place to go is behind the help button at the top and into the to-dos guide. Behind the <clears throat> these buttons, you can see we've got very simple step-by-step -step how to set to-dos. Brief introduction here. Setting a to-do. Again, we've got some videos to show you exactly how you can set your to-do. If you're setting a quiz, there's a little button you may be interested in which says make quiz editable. That means rather than the pupils just being able to play and get a score from a quiz, they can actually alter the quiz. They can improve upon it. They can add bits to it. Similarly, if you have some work like the two investigates or the two rights and you want the pupils to work collaboratively, you'll see there's a button here where you can tick that and all the children will be able to work together. The other thing you also notice is that we have the red button, the record button you see here, audio instructions. This may actually be nice not to necessarily give instructions as such, but just for the pupils to be able to hear a familiar voice. It makes it feel more like they're not on their own, I suppose. So I say you can just follow through all of the lovely videos, helpful guides showing you how to use these to do's. Just worth drawing your attention to the closing or deleting a to do. If you don't close to do's once they are finished, then you'll just end up with a massive long list of to do's, not only in your area, but also in the children's lists. And that can be a little bit off putting. So what we do here, if I just close this one down, I'm back in my to do area. Whichever ones I want to finish, I just click and it says close selected. Select close action. This first one, copy to do work files to pupil folders, that's probably my favourite one because just with the click of a button, what happens is each individual pupil's piece of work is copied and put into their own individual folders. It comes in a done to do subfolder underneath each child's folder. The nice thing about this is that they can see their own piece of work, but you don't have to go scouting through all of the folders to be able to find it for future reference. You can just go back to the original to-do folder in the work area. i just show you here. Cancel that. Work and class. Here, yeah, I've got my to-dos. So I could look in any of these folders to see the whole class contribution. Really handy if you're just wanting to print things off or just have a general overview of what's been going on. Again, back to the to-dos. If I want to close them, I click, close selected, select my close action, and then I can either choose that one or the move to-do work files to pupil folders where that just actually takes the work and puts it into the individual folders. Be very careful with the last one because once you've deleted it and it will ask you twice, but don't delete unless you're absolutely certain. So I just click and click and that then reduces the length of my list of to do's. It's also worth noting on here that I don't have any due dates set on any of my to do's. I think that's probably a good idea at the moment because what happens if you do set a hand in date? And just to remind you what that looks like, I'll edit this one so you can see. We've got a set date and a hand in date. Set date's fine because you may want things not to happen until the middle of next week, in which case put that date for the middle of next week. But if you do a hand in date and that time goes past, the to do's just disappear. And given that the pupils are working in difficult circumstances at home, uh, it may be that they need just a little bit more time to be able to achieve their outcomes. So that's just a, a basic reminder of to-dos and 
again, a reminder, go to help, to do's guide, and hopefully you'll find what you're looking for here. And if you do get stuck, then of course, do let us know.